This video is going to be covering the commutative and associative properties. Hopefully you learned about these a little bit in elementary school. This is going to be a fairly quick review. Both properties work for adding and multiplying. Both properties apply to addition and multiplication. The commutative property is when you're dealing with changing the order of the terms being added or multiplied and it gives the same answer. So that's a change in order. Those are the key words you want to tune into. Associative property is when you're changing the grouping of terms that are being added or multiplied and it gives the same answer. So grouping of terms. So changing order versus changing of grouping. That's the difference between the two. First we're going to talk about the commutative property, changing order. Here are some quick examples. 5 plus 2 equals 2 plus 5. They both work out to 7. 7 times a, a times 7. You're going to get the same thing either way. If you have a times b, it's going to equal b times a. We learned about this before. Two variables next to each other means you're multiplying them. And finally, 2 plus m is the same thing as m plus 2. That's commutative property. Notice how commutative starts with co and it's dealing with change of order. So the co, commutative, hopefully that's going to help you remember things. Associative property is a change in grouping. There's three terms involved on both sides. We have a 5, 2, 8, and we have a 5, 2, 8. Notice how the order of them did not change. Notice how we have the 2 being grouped with a 5, then over here we have a 2 being grouped with the 8. That's the grouping change. 7 times a times 3 equals 7 times a times 3. Here the a is being grouped with the 7, now the a is being grouped with the 3. A, B, C, A, B, C. So here it's A times the sum of, or the product of B times C. Here it's the product of A times B times C. You'll get the same thing either way. 2 plus 9 plus M, 2 plus 9 plus M. Same terms, same order in which they appear, but the grouping is changed. Here 9 is grouped with the 2. So the two constants are grouped together. Here the con a constant is grouped with a variable. The other thing I want you to notice is how the middle term stays in the middle on both sides of the equation and it's grouped with a new term. So you had your two in the middle on both, of both sides of the equation sign. The a was in the middle, the b was in the middle, the nine was in the middle. The same middle term stays in the middle and then it's grouped with a different guy either to the left or to the right of that term. So now we're just going to do some review. Is it commutative or associative? I see this. You could pause it, talk about it. If you uh, 7a3, a7, 3. It almost looks like it would be associative because you have three terms and you have parentheses. But if you notice the a and 7 are together. They're still grouped the same, so it's not a change in grouping. It's a change in order, and it's going to be commutative property for multiplying. Next we have, let's see, 7a3, 7a3. The order did not change. We have the same middle term being grouped with a new term. Over here, the a is with the 7, now a is with 3. So that is associative, it's a change in grouping. Change in grouping, same middle term, associative. Go ahead and try this one out. You can pause it if you need to. 3A7 on the left, A7-3 on the right. Well, the middle term is not the same. And first we had three times the parentheses, then we have the parentheses times three. That's going to be a change of order. It's going to be commutative property for multiplying. So we have x, y, z, x, y, z. The y is in the middle, being grouped with a different variable. 
here it's grouped with X, here it's grouped with Z. Change grouping, same middle term, associative property for multiplying. We have a bunch of variables again. Over here we have X, Y, Z, now we have Y, Z, X. So the Z's not being regrouped with anybody. Can't be associative. And we have X, Y changing to Y, X. That's going to have to be a change of order, which is going to be commutative property for multiplying. That's it. Hope it helps. Best of luck to you.